Hello, I hope you guys are having a great day. Today we're going to go to Tinkercad.com to do our circuits and our coding. So let's click on designs on the left hand side. And then on the right hand side, we're going to click on the blue button, the plus sign, and we're going to choose circuit. We're going to search for a micro bit with breakout and then drag that over. I'm going to use the rotate button and I'm going to turn it around. I'm also going to change the name to number six, breadboard with motor. All right, so what we'll need is the micro bit with breakout. We will need a small breadboard. We will need a motor and specifically we will need a DC motor. I'll put that right there. We will need a resistor. We will need a diode and we will need a TIP120. So let's figure out what some of these things do. So the DC motor is a motor which converts electrical energy into mechanical energy. A resistor restricts the flow of electricity in a circuit, reducing the voltage and current as a result. A diode allows electricity to flow in only one direction a TIP120 is a transistor used for switching on high-powered electronics like motors. So let's figure out how to set this up. First of all, let's set our ground. So we're going to go from the ground to the negative, and I'm going to change the wire to black. We need some power, so I'm going to go 3 volt to positive, and I'm going to switch the wire to red. We're going to operate off of pin 1. I'm going to click on pin one and go down to A2. Let's hook up our motor. I'm going to turn the motor around using the rotate tool. Terminal two is going to go into the positive category in row 19. And terminal one is going to go into row 19 on the other side of the breadboard. And I will turn that black. We're going to use the TIP120 and it has three legs and it's going to go into rows 18, 19, and 20. We're going to get our resistor and we're going to need to rotate it. So the bumblebee head or the gold part of the resistor is going to go underneath the first leg of the TIP120. And the back of the resistor, which I call the bumblebee butt, is going to go into row 14. Let's get our diode. So our diode makes it so that the electricity flows in one direction and it does matter which way this is turned. The diode will go into the middle, underneath the middle leg underneath the TIP120. We also need to hook up pin one down to the top part of terminal one on that resistor. So these two should be in the same row. Now we only have to add two more wires. So from our diode, we're going to click on the row next to the diode, and we're going to drag this over to the positive category, and I will turn that red for positive. Click on row 20 and bring this over to negative and let's change that wire to black since it's negative. Now let's take a look at our code. On start, we're going to show an icon and it could be any one of these, it doesn't matter. And then we're going to go to forever and we're going to put in a digital write pin. So I'm going to go to output. I'm going to get the digital write pin if you notice, we were in pin one on the micro bit breakout. So in our code, we need to change this to pin one. And we're going to say pin one is high. And then we're going to grab another digital write pin. And again, it's important that we change this to pin one because that's where it is in our breadboard. And then change this to low. I'm also going to grab two weights in there. So let's just wait a couple of seconds and then wait two seconds here. Let's start our simulation and let's see what happens. As you can see, the motor is turning. So it turns for two and then it stops. 
it turns for two and then it stops. Well, I hope you enjoyed this simulation and have a wonderful day and have fun creating.